Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. And if you have any suggestions for next uh, for the next video, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, before I get into the actual part of the, of the video, I got quite a few comments on uh, problems, people having issues with uh, importing and exporting through Blender into a uh, studio, or people just didn't know how to do it, or I didn't really explain it that well. Um, so the first part of this video is going to explain to you. Uh, it's going to explain to you how to import uh, your assets from Blender into uh, Studio. Okay, so for this part, I'm not really going to use a voiceover. Instead, I'm just going to do it uh, with you guys. So first of all, you know, you have your object here. Uh, do whatever you want with it. Let's say you want a tree or something. Let me make a, a tree real quick. I'm not going to explain to you how to make a tree because that was uh, the previous video that I did. Let's say this is our tree here. As you can see, we have two separate parts. I select them diff uh, separately and they're separate in the uh, scene collection here. If I want to join them, I select one of them and then hold shift, left click on the other object and then press control J to join them. And now this is one part. So when I import this, it's going to be one object. But I want to keep it two objects because then I can color this uh, part of the object separately. So for example, for the tree, the uh, the log part would be wooden and would be brown, and the leaves would be green. So I keep them separate to um, have uh, to be able to change the colors on them. And once I've, I've, I'm happy with my object or whatever, and I'm done with Blender. Um, this is where I start to export. So you can leave this object as it is here. Don't have to do anything with it. Don't have to click on it or anything. If anything, click off it just in case. But the first thing I do is click File, Export, and then I select FBX. If you select OBJ, I believe it makes the asset one object instead of two by itself. So I wouldn't recommend using OBJ unless you've textured the uh, object. But you know that's if you're more experienced with Blender. So select FBX, save it wherever. Uh, I'm gonna name it anything. And now, now that I've um, exported as an FBX to my desktop, I go to View, Game Explorer, and this tab should appear. Um, so there's a huge import button down here. If you guys don't have this, um, sometimes it doesn't appear for me either, I don't know why, but um, what I tend to do is right click meshes and add assets and then you know, just find the, uh, the asset that you have. But I have the import button so I'm going to click import, click on the tree and then when uh, this box appears it will ask you if, you if it's too large rescale it, just leave these two default ticked and then leave this unticked you don't want to import it as it is a single mesh and then click apply now what this will do is we'll import both the um, the assets separately um, sometimes this issue might appear where it says unable to import what I tend to do is just cancel the import and then import it again and then it fixes that issue Now once, uh, as you can see it's fixed, now once you've got that you open the meshes tab and all your meshes will appear here. If it's new it will be at the bottom. So what I do is select all the um, the parts of the asset I just imported, as you can see tree underscore cube and tree underscore cone, these two, and then I right click, insert with location, and then it should bring my asset in here as two separate objects as you can see. So now I can click on this, color it brown, click on this, color it green, as you can see you have your tree here. And yeah that's about it for the uh, import and exporting. Okay so to begin with making plants I import a plane and then I add loop cuts to it. To add loop cuts I press Control R on the object while I'm in edit mode and you get into edit mode by pressing tab. Uh, now to make uh, my plants I tend to always have leaves uh, around the bottom of the plant 
or for a bush I would literally just make a couple of leaves and then rotate them so what I do is I create the initial shape of the uh, leaf real quick and then I begin by adding a bit of uh, curvature to the leaf just to make it a little bit more realistic once I've added the uh, the curve onto the uh, plant I can resize it and make it wider or thicker or anything I need and then I copy and paste it at a 90 degree angle four times to uh, create that kind of plant looking um, like you'd find like a typical plant you'd find in a jungle and such so once that is done you can literally just copy and paste the same leaf if you want to edit it a little bit and and then start with like a flower for example so with flower like the strand always I always add a cylinder and then um, cut the amount of faces down to roughly like six just so it's more low poly and then just create a kind of doesn't have to be anything uh, amazing just create a bland shape for the actual like leaf itself I kind of made like a little bit of a diamond shape uh, just for the sake of saving time and then added a bit of extra detail because why not um, but you don't actually have to go that complex you can make some really nice looking flowers with literally just two seconds of editing a cylinder but um, yeah I've, that's it for the plant and after that um, I, st I start with making a mushroom so the mushrooms are really simple it's literally just a cylinder Ext you press E to extrude to pull it out and then size it uh, and then S to scale to increase the size to create the top of the mushroom and once uh, your assets are done if you want uh, s like separate parts to have different colors just select uh, the, the faces of that part and then literally just separate them by pressing P and then there, there'll be two different objects or, what, or whatever like I showed you in the previous part of the video now what is the, once that's done you export it and import it straight into your studio Once it's imported, you can go ahead and customize them, resize them, uh, or anything like that. And that's basically it for how I make my plants. Obviously, I'm going to explain to you like every single different way of making a plant. Um, what I tend to do is literally just look at a reference off Google. Uh, I think, oh, that looks nice, and then I try and replicate it in my own kind of style. Um, these are just some quick plants I made for the sake of the video. But um, yeah, what, that's that's basically how I make my plants. Um, you guys are welcome to copy this method, or you know, uh, create your own. It's up to you, really. Either way, you you're getting the same um, outcome. And that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn post notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.